In this video, we are going to load Parquet files into this Spark data frame. For that, I am having some Parquet files. If you do not have any Parquet files, you can refer my previous video. So here I am having my Parquet files into the sample one directory, which is present into the HDFS location. When I'm listing that, you can see there are four Parquet files available. I'm going to load these files into the Spark data frame. So let's go to the Spark shell first. Okay, so we want to load this data into one data frame. Let's say we are having data frame DF and I am writing spark.read. There is option parquet here. And then I'm writing the complete location. Okay. So here you can see that the schema is also inferred into that. So we are having one data frame df and the schema which is coming is df dot let's say print schema. We are having three columns. One is ID name and percentage having these string and double data types respectively. And if you want to see the data, you can see df dot show. One more thing is there that if you want to read only the few columns, then in that case, you just need to mention the schema, like spark.read.schema. So let's suppose I do not want to um, get the percentage present in the data frame. I just wrote ID and name. So for that, first we need to create a schema. So uh, I'm just taking the sample code and I'm writing a new one. Just focus here I'm just right trying to get the schema type okay so here you can see that I am having one schema list because I have used this code while writing into the parquet format so I am having a schema list like this. I am just removing the percentage from here. And now it would be having only ID and name. So I'm just running this command to get schema of ID and name only. Okay, so now if you see here, this schema is having only two columns that is ID and name. Now while writing, I'm sorry, while, while reading into the data frame, I'll write one more option here that is schema and then actual schema you need to pass because we have named the schema same as a schema name. So I'm just writing this. Now, if you see that DF is having only two columns, ID and name. If you want to see the data, you can see like df.show. That's it. Thank you for watching.